Hi, welcome back uh, to video three of rigging with advanced skeleton. Um, just want to say if you're enjoying the videos so far, if you can uh, subscribe or give a like and a comment, that would really help me grow. Um, and anytime there's another video produced, that, um, you'll get notified. Um, anyway, let's get back to it. So, so video three, we're going to be going over some. Um, we're going to skin the character, do some basic skinning. Um, and I'm going to show you some 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 formats of skinning and, and, and why we do it. Um, this is where we left off. Um, we have the rig. We 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 ran the uh, build advanced skeleton. So we have um, uh, the rig all working um, as I showed you before. But as normal, <clears throat> every time I do this, I always see something I want to tweak. Um, I always want to you know once you see it in the body and how it bends. I mean this this looks um, the mid controller should be lower and a bit further forward. Um, so I'd like to show you how to update that as well. Um, there's a few other things. Now we've saved um, our character, as I say, I always save as version one, version two, and then before the facial rig at different stages, so I can go back at any time. But you do have this little button I wanted to show you called Toggle and Fit Advanced Skeleton. If you click this, it does go back to the mode where you can move the joints around. Um, it's really good. Um, I tend to just open up my previous file, but the but the advantage of the Toggle Fit Advanced Skeleton button is that you can run this anytime anytime down the process even after you have skinned the character uh, to the joints um, but what will happen is when you run this if you've changed your curves um, you know the control curves move them around you you will lose that and also the main thing is is that um, if you have skinned a, um, a joint to say rotate from here you go into toggle advance um, after you've skinned, you move it to rotate from somewhere else. It will, it will only, it, 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 you'll have to re uh, repaint the skin weights around the area. It will still rotate from where you originally had it. So that's just something to keep in mind. So you can use this, um, but it does save you. You know, you can be, you know, almost with the finished rig. You know, you know, and you're animating with it and go back and change the joint placement, which is uh, really helpful. So um, I'm just going to quickly go back in um, because this is a normal process. You, you you see it in the character and you do want to make changes afterwards. So I'm just going to um, again hit the D key as before. I want to um, I want to move this for um, oops hit the D key again. I want to move this forward a bit and I also want to move my chest forward. It's a bit bit too far back. That's a bit better for me. Um, I also would like to move this up just a tad it's a bit too low it's not quite on the neck and then what I have noticed is that um, the, the the risk placement um, isn't quite in the middle um, I did these like kind of things so that you can see that, you know it's, it's good to spot them and change them so I'm gonna go back to here hit the D key I'm gonna go to the front uh, front view I'll go to shady so you can see the model a bit better I just want to rotate this down a bit because the, the hand does um, does bend uh, both ways, so the the wrist is going to bend um, from the middle here, so that's better. But unfortunately, we have lost our finger placements now. But it's not it's it is really easy to just um, select all these and move them directly up into position, back into the fingers again. So this is normal, as I say, having to go back and tweak the joints to get them um, to get them right. You know, what after you build it, and once you see it bending, you think, "Oh, well, yeah, that could that could, that could look better, a bit lower, or a bit moved over." Um, and also, I'm going to just move the um, actually the clavicle forward. It's really it's really far back, actually. Let's move that forward, um, nice and in line um, with the neck there. <clears throat> and that looks a lot better. And another reason I wanted to go back. Um, um, is to show you another little tool. It gives me an excuse to show another little um, another little tool which I use quite a lot. I'm just going to move this out because um, this is where it's going to rotate from, and it's behind the sort of hair band at the moment. So I'm just going to um, go into object mode and just move the 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 first joint for the pigtail out slightly so that it rotates from within uh, uh, within inside the hair band. Great, so I just want to show you another little tool. There's another reason I went back is um, I decided, or someone might decide in your pipeline, that this isn't in, uh, enough joints and, and you, you want a smoother, uh, more controls in, in the pigtail. <clears throat> I mean, they're not going to move much anyway, but um, this is a great little tool to show you. So 
instead of um, deleting it, trying to put in your joint to move it around, Advanced Skeleton has a, has a nice little feature. So you select the first joint and the very end joint, and you scroll down to here, it says Resample. Now what it's done is it's already selected the first and last joints, the pigtail one and the joint five. Um, if you haven't picked the right joint, you can simply press that and click pick, so start joint and end joint. And what I'm going to do here is, um, for example, I'm just going to bump it up to something silly like 10. Um, if I hit resample, you see it works out all the joints for you. So this is great if you've done like um, tails, tentacles, things like this. Um, I don't quite, uh, quite need that many. Um, let, let's, let's try seven because you will get a control at every joint. There's one, two, three, four, five controls there. Um, and yeah, that could be nice. that could be good. Let's just see what it looks like with six. It's just one more joint than we had before. I think that'll be all right. Um, let's have a look at seven again. Yeah, let's go with the seven. That's fine. That's good. We will we'll get a control all the way. So um, um, that, that's fine. Okay, once you're happy with that, so we've just made a few little adjustments, a few little tweaks, and then you just hit Rebuild Advanced Skeleton to get back to where we were before. And it will run through, just as it did before, updated orientations. And it's working through. And we get the notice, it says rebuild complete. And as you can see, um, uh, the hair bands that we did, it's added controllers for every joint. So now we've got more controls. We're gonna move the controllers out so we can select them properly, but you will get, um, uh, we, we've got more joints to play with now. Can you see this? So the, the, you know, the, the, it's not gonna move much anyway, but it gives you a little bit more control, a little bit more deformation. Um, and now if we go into the hand, select the end controller, uh, you can see it's moving from the correct position. Oh, and I've just noticed that I didn't move the thumb up. So I'm just going to quickly hit toggle refit. So this is the kind of process we have to go through sometimes, unfortunately. Um, it still would have worked, but it's, better, it's just a click of a button. It's better to get it right. And rebuild again. It's good that you see these processes, you know, so what you might overcome and look for um, just helps you along with your process. And it's just rebuilding now. And again, build complete. There's the new thumb in the new position. That's much better. There we go. So, so that's better. That, so that's how you that's how you tweak um, joints if you want. Um, I'm just going to save that. So we're now on version two. File save. Okay, ready to move on. So from here, we now need to um, you know if we move anything, it's the, the, nothing is moving with the rig at the moment. Um, so let's um, let, let's attach. Um, which is called skin, skin weight, the, 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 the mesh to um, um, to the rig. There's a few ways of doing that. Um, Advanced Skeleton has a lot of options. So after the build menu, you've got all these deform options. You've got um, deform option one, which is kind of like your, your classic, just select the joints and um, uh, uh, attach to the uh, bind skin. It's just a bit of bind skin options. Um, you've got um, uh, option two. Now this is the one I, I've, I've always used. I haven't really experimented with the others at all. So, you know, obviously it would take me, it would take hours and hours to go through all these options. And it's just a case of, of, of just trial and error on different rigs. Um, you can also go to um, Advanced Skeleton YouTube channel as well to get all the information on the other options. But, you know, m my preference has been this, this, this skin cage. What it does is it creates a cage and you just copy the weights over. And what's good is it stays there so you can, Add say a coat and say copy weights and 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 it's still it's still there remembering it. I'll, I'll just run through it now with you. So what we do is we we've got our character and we will click cage and create. And what it's doing is it's running through and you can see it's adding this like the these the sort of low poly boxes as it's going to go through. 
There you go, it's doing all the fingers, you can see it running through, it's even done some for the pigtails. And then it says skin cage created. So I'm just going to hide my mesh and show you what that looks like. I'll just um, hit Alt, Alt B, um, change the background in Maya. Um, you can switch through backgrounds in Maya by hitting Alt B. I like to work with the grey background, but just to show you the grey cage, this is what we get. So this is like this is this is the cage it gives us. It's it's really good. It's just a basic um, copy and weights over to get um, to get things over to so the um, and it, it copies the skin weights over for you. So let's have a little look at that. Let's turn the mesh back on and we want to unreference um, the mesh now because we're going to want to um, select everything. Um, what we can do is we can go through and I'm just going to do this to the hair. We can go through with the uh, see these little green lines what it does is it lets us expand the um, uh, width the, 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 the amount of vertices it's gonna it's gonna um, affect and you don't need to do this a lot really so it, it does take a bit of trial and error uh, to be honest the default options are normally pretty good what I always do go is do, is go and do the fingers. She, th this character's got very chunky fingers, so um, if I just show you, normally you would get something like this on most characters, and they overlap. So what you do is is by bringing these in, it, it shows the area it's going to affect. So what you don't you, you don't want to bend one finger and it pulls the other finger with it, which which happens a lot when you know in, in rigging and you've got to paint the weights out. But but I'm a bit lucky here, so it's it's sort of um, thin it's gone through the fingers anyway um, I'll just show you how to do it so if, if say if this was r really fat I would just simply scale it down but you must keep in, in mind that, that it doesn't mirror so you have to say select all the end um, finger uh, uh, finger uh, curves here the same on the other side and then scale them all together and it does both sides so that um, j just keeping that in mind it's got no mirroring on it I'm just going to go through and check. This might cause a little bit of an issue here, um, but we can always paint the weights out later. I'm just going to, um, oops, like, like exactly what I've just said. I forgot that it doesn't mirror. So I'm just going to just bring these down here just, just to see if that helps. Because it is it is going to affect the head. I imagine it's going to clip the ear and, and drag some of that with it, which is just can't be helped, really. Um, let's see. We could, I mean, yeah, we can bring the neck out you can scale these un, um, in, in just one di um, dimension I don't think it affects it um, I think obviously because we've added these extra joints in it might give us a bit of a uh, bit of extra things to overcome but um, it shouldn't be too bad so I'm just gonna um, I think that's okay um, let's just have a look at this Sort of poking at the back of it a lot there. Um, let's extend the chest out a bit just because um, it will stop the folding in there a little bit more. I mean, you always have to paint the weights around the armpits anyway, always. Um, that looks okay. Um, great. So let me just unhide the mesh, unhide the hair. Um, and what we're going to do is we need to select all the polygons are going to affect and just simply copy the weights. Now, just a little tip as well. I've got all my hair here. You can't just, um, s if I went to select the um, group of my hair, let me just uh, find it. There it is hair group. You think you've got them all selected, but it doesn't work with the copy weight. You have to select them all. So it's better to just drag and select. Um, at the moment, we don't need to see the joints anymore. So I'm just going to go show none show polygons that's all we want at the moment um, we're not going to select uh, we're not going to um, select anything in the face at the moment because that will get its own facial rig skinning set up it probably wouldn't matter at the moment but it's safe just to just to not select it I'm definitely going to include the hair though because we we want to use that with um, the skin cage that it's created so I'm going to select all the geometry oh sorry let me just um, unreference obviously um, I'm going to hide my let me just hide the eyelashes the brows and the mouth group there is a mouth group inside um, obviously I'm gonna hide my 
eyes. Don't want to select them in a moment. So this is everything I want to select. So, oh, and the hair is referenced again. Sorry about that. There we go. We've got everything selected. So this is what we want to skin. You just simply select it. Just drag and drop. Select it all. And then we're going to go down to uh, your skin cage option and click copy weights. And it's going to go through and calculate everything. All the finger joints. Still working it out. My hair is quite dense as well, so there you go. You can see it in the corner, just flicking through really fast, working out all the calculations. And there we go. So that's actually done now. So it's given us a basic skin. So what we'll do is, is um, you you can delete these, but I like to save them. So I'm, I'm going to just just going to turn off my skin cage and skin curves and then I'm going to go back turn on nerves curves and let's see what we've got so I'm going to click the work the mid controller and straight off the bat we have actually you know quite a good um, skinning base I'm going to click my slip my foot Just want a little. Just you just want to run through and see how it's deforming. Obviously, it needs quite a bit of painting weight but for something that's automatic. It it, it, it it's, you know works pretty well. The clavicle um, curves are hidden inside, so we need to um, we need to move them out now. I'll just click this go to build pose. It's just going to snap it back into build pose, and and I've just noticed that obviously we forgot to do the clothes. But that's the beauty of um, having the skin cage. So if I turn on the dress and the t-shirt, I'm going to leave the buttons for now. I think we're going to try and maybe rivet them on. We can, we can skin them. Um, you know, we'll just try that out as well later. So I'm going to select uh, my dress geometry and and the the t-shirt. And like I say, the beauty about the skin cage is, is that, you know, it, it's still there. It's still copied all the weights. If we just go um, copy, it's now copying the skin weights onto the dress as well. So let's just take a little look. And there you go. If I hit the three key to smooth things, we can just see how it's, there, you know, it's deforming as well. So as you can see, it, it re there's one of the controllers hidden away. It's really not that, it, it's pretty good for just an automatic skinning. Great. Okay, I'm gonna save the file as well, because as you know, my can crash sometimes. <laughs> and it's just saving. Brilliant. So let's get some of these curves out of the way. There's a, there's a, there's a lot that are, um, I'm hidden within the mesh, so it had the, 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 there's a there's a nice little tool again within in, in advanced skeleton. Um, I'm going to go into. I'm just going to hit this little button up here. I, um, I don't know if you um, know this, but you've got selection, so you can say I can turn off the mesh. It's the same as hitting reference here, so you can't select the mesh. I can turn off joints or curves, but I'm just going to um, just going to do that for the moment, and then going to go into wireframe just so I don't select my mesh. I'm going to select these go back to shaded mode and this is a great little tool so you can just quickly scale up um, the curves so if I hit two a scale of two there we go the clavicles are out the body I'm also thinking my shoulder control is here uh, um, that's not easy to grab while you're animating so I'm going to go do a, like a, a 1.3 there they go just so we can use them and grab them. And these, the, this one here, definitely the chest and the mid controller and this um, uh, pelvis controller here, we're gonna go up with maybe 1.4. We need them nice and big. I'm gonna go a bit larger again. So from here, it's gonna go another 1.2. Uh, 1 you go as big as you want, really. And, and the, the old way of doing this, I mean, you can also do this, you can reshape. If I go uh, show control vertex, obviously you can't see them at the moment, so let's go show nerves CVs, and they will show. You can actually do this. You can actually select these things and just, just 
just bring them out wherever you want. You can reshape them if you want. I can select this, scale it out, do what I want, and they'll still work. So for something like, um, we can see, these are the IK controllers. Um, they're, they're hidden away at the moment, so we do need to do what I've, what I've said. Oh, there we go, we just want to not be able to. So I'm just gonna drag them out to the side. One. Is there anything else hidden? I think these are pretty low as well, so let's just, you know, once you start animating, they might be, um, you might not see them very easily. Let's just move them up a bit. Um, okay, go back to shaded view. Turn this. Some of these finger controls are pretty small as well. I mean, we can always come back to this as well. Um, let, let's get this hip controller. That is stuck in there, let's get it down there and even move it a bit lower and go object mode and as you can see that it doesn't change the pivot point, it stays where it is um, you know now we can move the clavicle control um, some of these are a little bit buried so I'm just going to just going to scale up these two scale, oh, this one needs more Scale. Oh, and I could have selected the other side at the same time, but um, but silly me, I didn't. Scale, and this one was again, wasn't it? Scale. Again, you, you know, if you wanted to, if you, I mean, these are fine for me, but if you wanted um, to be able to really pick your you know um, curves more you can you can do what you want you could scale them out make them bigger reshape them um, and also and within this tool you, you can recolor things as well um, I mean I'm happy with the coloring system they've got but if you added your own custom controllers or actually you know saying that for the headbands if we wanted to change the controllers we would just um, um, you need to select every single one so you select every single one oh, we will need to make this one bigger actually you know, you might want to say, okay, I want, I want the left side and the right side bigger. So you can say, um, just 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 set the color. You can set them FK controllers. You can say selected, which is what I use. So you go selected and say if you want the curves to be red, set color. There they are. I'm just going to undo that for now. Um, let's make these two bigger. This probably this one's a bit a little bit big now, but that doesn't matter. This head one, I mean, that should be a lot bigger and probably moved up a bit. So let's let, let let's go let's go two on that. Get it up bigger. Because oh. that is your head control. Let's have a look. See how that one's working at the moment. Probably won't bring the yet. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, save that. That is how to adjust all your curves. So let's let, let let's go ahead and um, um, paint some basic skin weights. I just want to bring up one important thing: is I don't do a full skin weight at this point because if anything's going to go wrong, it will be with the the face setup. So you don't want to go too deep in, involved. Find out you have to go backwards, or even sometimes start from the beginning um, and go backwards. So. You know, let's just do a basic skin that we've got to do, and then we can come back and perfect it later. You know, I'm going to do a little thing where we add some little controls to the dress and things like that as well. So let's just um, let's go over a little, a uh, few basics of, of of weight skinning. So let's start with. Um, I'm going to hide the hair to get that out of the way, um, and I'm going to hide the dress. Let's just. Um, we're not going to see the body, so let's just work on the. Let's just work on the T-shirt for now. Oh, oh, I can't select polygons because I've got the. I've selected this. Uh, the object selection up here, the, the button. Now I can select it again. So what we're going to do is um, at the moment. Let's see how this is bending. 
Yep, it's not too bad, but we want we just want to smooth that out a little bit, really. So you just bend it forward a little bit in, into position. I mean, that's with the one key on as well. Uh, the three key, sorry, is smooth. Let's go back into smooth mode. So what we're going to do is you select you select your, your mesh, you go up to skin, paint skin weights, but make sure you go to this little box which just brings up the options. It's just on my other screen at the moment. I'm just going to bring it over here. And as you can see, what it does is, is it immediately changes view. The white is what's weighted and the and the black is 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 unweighted and it tells you what joint. Um, so if I click spine, chest, neck, scapula, shoulder, right up, oh, that's the left side. Um, you don't need to do both sides separately, there is just a mirror option, scapula, shoulder, elbow. So let's just do a basic um, um, run over this. So what you've got is um, uh, the chest, uh, chest, the chest joint selected and showing you what the weights are on the t-shirt. There's three tools I use, which is replace, add and smooth. Now, if I wanted to say, um, when this bends, I want it to also affect um, an area lower down, I would click add. There's a scale here. This is your value. If this value is at full, but the opacity is down naught, you're going to get naught. It's almost like a multiplier. Um, you never really want it up full when you're painting because it's, it's just too strong. So just, you know, just go midway, something like that. Um, I'm just going to show you the basics. So if I want to do add more, I would, um, I, I, I could paint a bit lower. And as you can see, it's now saying I want the chest joint to affect lower down as well. I'm just going to undo that. I'm going to go softer. And now it's doing it softer. And you can see it's just moving. If I lift the mouse, click again, it does it a bit more. So that's the add. Now you can use replace. The replace can work in two ways. It can work in add value or take it away. What I tend to use it for is to take away. I know, uh, um, um, so say if you wanted to remove this area under here, you don't want this affected by the chest. I would hit replace, make the value of naught, but the opacity then is your multiplier. So, um, it, you know, if you do naught, it's gonna do naught. Uh, up here, it's gonna, um, it's gonna affect it really quickly. So put it in the middle, if I do this, click again and again and again and again and again, it takes it away. So that's the general premise. And then you've also got um, um, smooth. You can either brush the smooth on and it smooths the edges out. Um, and I tend to use what I, what I tend to do is, is is at this at this point I just I just add quite a bit of of, of smoothing and flooding just to, just just to blend things in I, and as you get quicker this is this this will be quicker and a bit easier and, and, and smooth if you to do so I click the chest I click the smooth and I click flood just like three or four times and then I might go down to the spine might do it again there's a bit too much take it out. And you see, it's blending across the two. It's gone into the body bit, but we're gonna we're gonna mix this in. As you see, you see, it's bringing it back out again. You go to the roots, uh, root two, sorry, and the root and the hip, because the t-shirt is affected. So I'm just going to show you how, how harsh this is. So it's best to put it in a position for, so you can see what's actually going on. So you can see the the, the t-shirts. Um, being affected quite a lot there. So instead of going um, skin, skin weight, you can just hit Y, which makes you, which brings you back to the same tool. So now I'm on the hip, I can see what we're doing because we've put it in a pose. Again, I'm just going to select my hip one joint, click flood a few times, and you can see it smooths out, lovely. Hip, a bit lower, and there we go, compared to what that was before. Let's just to get the move tool back. And we've got a lot smoother, smoother flow. If I do on the other side, because we've only done one side, that's what it was before, and, and we've got rid of that crease and that collapsing. So what you can do now is just quickly go back to build, build pose, and instead of painting the other side, just select, select your mesh, go up to skin, mirror skin weights, option box. Now from, I'll just move this here, at the moment, of, um, X is this way. So if you were painting on this side, 
and you wanted to mirror it to this way, you would click positive for the negative, but we don't at the moment. So you put it back to build pose, press apply, and now your weights will have been mirrored for this, this side. You don't see actually anything happening, it just sort of works for you. There you go. So now both sides are exactly the same. Go back to build pose. So that's generally it, guys. That That's a really sort of um, quick rundown on, on, on painting weights. I'm just going to close this mirror. Um, one of the biggest areas you, 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 you will need to paint is, is, is always around clavicle and shoulder. So, for example, say um, we want to bend the shoulder down. See, it's folding in on itself. It will always do this. You might have posed yours in an A pose instead of a T pose. You get better deformations that way sometimes. So I'm just going to click on this again, and I'm going to go up to, I could click the Y bit, Skin, Paint Skin Weights, Options Box. Let's bring this box back over. And we want to go down to the, uh, let, let's start with the chest. So in my experience, you know, this, this is trial and error, but you probably want to add some more to the chest. So let's start with add and a small sort of weight. And there you go. I've just pulled it back out. So it's already fixed that problem. And you can do, obviously, you can spend hours doing this, perfecting it. Um, but we're just going to sort of go over it as quick as we can for now anyway. Like I say, we do need to get to the face and then come back and polish the, um, 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 the weights. So let's just see how that arm's moving now. That's much better. Back, forward. It's collapsing a bit on the forward one, so we can paint some more here. Let's hit the Y key and see what we can do with the chest. Maybe we just need a little bit of smoothing. No, nope. so let's let's move our way up. So let's go to the scapula here. And I'm going to um, try a bit smoothing the shoulder. We, the shoulders, you see the shoulders affecting this, this bit over here. We don't want that, so let's paint this off. Replace, nor Click a few times to remove that. Okay, let's see what happens if we... Oh, and um, by the way, if you hold the B key and you just drag the mouse, left button, drag, that's how you get your size um, um, to enlarge, increase or decrease. So I'm going to put it quite down small for this. I'm going to try adding a bit, see if that helps um, bring it out. Oh, that's the wrong way. So maybe we um, go to shoulder part two. We can add some out that way. Um, let's try smoothing some of that in. And then I'm going to smooth this in and then go back to my chest. So it's always a bit of trial and error here. I'm going to add a little small amount. Oops, see sometimes it's a bit tricky to get. Sometimes I might have to repose it to get it out. There we go, it's coming out there. So now we need to maybe um, fix the, oh, that's the R, or it should be on the, the left. So now we want to um, go shoulder, add, and I'm going to bring this back out, and then there's still a tiny bit in there, you probably won't, probably won't see it, but I'll fix that. Oops, a bit of smoothing, let's go to shoulder R as well, let's try a bit of, let's get a little bit of flood in there. Let's see what the scapula's doing, I think the scapula's over too large of area at the moment. We'll, we'll, we'll try a bit of a bend in a minute to see. I'm going to take some of this out. Oops, not that much. Take a bit out down here. Okay. And I've also got, I haven't, um, I've got the t-shirt on smooth, but I don't have the body on smooth, so that would affect it as well. Yeah, there you go. It was poking through because it wasn't um, it, it wasn't smoothed. So let's you know again try an error. Let's see what it's moving like. That looks pretty good deformation. Yeah, pretty good. So when he lift when a character lifts their arm up, they don't just obviously lift their shoulder up. That would look weird. They can't. Their shoulder gets to about here, and then the clavicle joins in as well. That's not bad. 
you probably just move the armpit out and everything. Pretty good. Go back to the build pose. Again, just going to select this. Go up to skin. I'm just going to hit mirror skin weights. And it's mirrored it over to the other side. There we go, good. So, like I say, later on I will come in and paint, you know, the backs of the knees are all collapsing, but let's leave that for now. We can come back and um, and, and do that after the face. Because again, if something if something goes wrong with the face, we might have to go back and we you know, and we've done some of this work for nothing, or it might take longer to fix. Again, the, the whenever you bend an elbow, it always collapses in, so we need to add more here. Um, I'll just really quickly show you. It's really, um, really quick, easy to paint. So you will go to your um, uh, right elbow, and you will add on this side. Let's add a little bit. Give it a little bit of value. You'll you'll add a little bit this side, so you get a nice crease. And then you will go to your um, shoulder part too, and again add this add this side. You see, you got a much better bend, and I would just brushing it a little quick smooth just to just to smooth things out you might want to add some more weights to get a sharper elbow as well but as you can see that is how you you, you know you would get a, a much nicer crease you can add like all sorts of deformers to make it perfect this is a cartoony character compared to this side now miles better go back to build pose save the rig Okay, so something we do need to do just quickly. <coughs> As you can see, the jaw's being um, affected by down here. Again, it's gonna get some new weights when we integrate the, the, the facial system, but let's just go in, enlarge our brush. We need to go to the um, head joints. So you've got, let's just go down, there we go head joint <clears throat> and there's no um, even though we put a jaw in there there's nothing skin to the jaw at the moment um, and so I'm just going to just go add just bring this back up like I say if you're going to get any problems it will be when you run the fascia rig, there's a lot more, lot more that goes into it. I just like to be as safe as possible. And um, we could add a little smooth to get the neck bend. Nice. <clears throat> I'm just remember there is, well, there is a tiny little jaw joint in there, but it's not hooked up there. We don't need that now. There's a there is another neck controller in here, and it's got lost. There we go. It's in. If I rotate this, you can rotate from the neck. So let's let let's scale that out. There you go. You got a the lower. And deformation isn't bad. It's a bit creasy. We can fix that later. Go to build pose. looking pretty good um, we might want to just see how the the top of the the dress is deforming see so that will be on the front again we can paint those skin weights that's all okay it's actually deforming not bad really already which is quite lucky let's just have a little look at the hair obviously we're definitely going to get some problems with the hair let's have a little look because it's definitely going to affect the head so it might be good to take a look at that now so if I select um, all these joints and see what we've got that's not too bad it's not affecting the head let's move this <coughs> yeah so the hair is going to need um, I'm just kidding. you can see it's breaking into that there um, but yeah, that's that's okay. So th this definitely obviously needs a lot of smoothing. So let's see if the smoothing will, will fix this. We'll put it in a pose there. You can see it's got a lot of a lot of lines where it's creased because there's a quite a lot of joints in there. So I'm going to um, just click this button here. It means I can't select curves. 
I'm going to select all of these and hopefully we should be able to skin all the ways at the same time so I'm going to go um, paint skin weights option box um, we don't want these attached to the, the head joints at the moment they're black which is great so pigtail one look how sharp it is Let, let's try doing a, a lot of a lot of flooding on the smooth so let's just I'm just clicking away here and you can see it here getting smoother and smoother again I'm going to go down here the next one clicking away dozens of times we can actually up the opacity for this and just get the smooth flooding quicker and you can really see it smoothing out here see it as I click this it's going to keep going and let's go back up again There we go, that's a lot better than it was. It was all crunched up and creased before. We don't need to do this because that's just the end the, the, the end joint. There we go, that is that's a lot better. So oh I can't select curves, let me just turn this button on to select curves. One, two, three, four. Right. You could create a button later on. You could, um, um, part of the, the, the GUI and everything, you could add it so that you can just select all these in one go. There we go. That is a nice pigtail. Let's just um, reset the deformations on here. I could just click go to build pose. Um, let's do it from the side because you might want to. That's working really well. Really well. You could get some nice dynamics and bouncing, it twists, that's working great. There we go. I will need to do the same on the other side but I won't <coughs> um, I won't bore you with that, I'll just do it off screen. Um, I know I said I wouldn't do that, I would show you every nook and cranny but all I'm doing is hitting the flood button on this smooth about a hundred times. <laughs> so there we go guys, that is um, basic, um, um, we, we created a cage, we copied it onto the rig, we copied weights, we didn't have the, the dress or the t-shirt, the cage was still there, we copied the weights, um, all working, uh, that was all working great. We learned how to paint some basic skin weights, so there's three tools that we use, which is the replace, the add, and, uh, and and smooth and we can use flood um, um, with, with the smooth or paint it by hand um, later on we will come in and and you know even these are working quite well you know but we the, the ankle is like all bendy at the moment so we need to we need to fix that um, and we will come back and do this later um, we just need to get it getting get the head rigged because then if something does completely cock up then um, hopefully we haven't wasted too much time um, and you'll get used to this anyway so hope that helps um, again we'll, we'll go on to the next video which will be video 4 so that will be we're going to move on to facial rigging um, um, if you like what you see so far get, um, you know, um, subscribe, hit the subscribe button give us a like um, or, or a comment if you like anything else and I will see you in the next video cheers <laughs>